Hey Brotherhood, this is Chuck Kiewatz, longtime member, first time reviewer here. Very excited to finally be able to join the review group here because I have made the leap and jumped in and moved from my 1-6 scale statues to finally this luxurious premium format that you see behold. Uh, so now I'm going to give you guys my overall review of the Sideshow Collectibles 1-4 one, one scale Hal Jordan. Um, very, very excited about this one, first of all. I want to say uh, Green Lantern is my all-time favorite hero, so we're super, super pumped. I uh, did a little bit of comparison shopping to see what some of the different statues were, and I wanted something now. I know that XM uh, has a really great piece coming out in the future, but I was looking for something more right now and really, really like this. So shout out to group member Nick DeSanto uh, for giving me an incredible deal on this. Uh, literally paid less than it was retail and it's brand new when it showed up in the box. Uh, so that was the first big surprise to me was the size of the boxes there could not believe when that one showed up outside super super excited there so as you can see as we jump right into this here um the first thing that really took me by surprise was the size of the base uh for this statue here it is truly truly insanely big it's i'd say equally the size of a nba regulation basketball and it's got hefty weight behind it easily a good nine or ten pounds uh the 21 pound overall weight truly truly love the base there as you can see it kind of creates the energy construct sculpt there uh, as if i was kind of like walking on his own energy stairs which i really liked um this being my first sideshow statue i was worried about how the assembly was going to go because i know that these come in pieces and i was shocked at how easy it was it's literally his entire body as you can see we have the head which just comes off through the magnetic piece which i didn't even know these had magnetic I was very very excited to see that and then we have the two arm pieces and that's it The rest of the body is one continuous sculpt um, The one thing that kind of did blow my mind is they send you a spare arm here Where it's just the separate arm instead of him holding the lantern Which I didn't understand at all because if you're a lantern fan, you know, you want him charging that battery um, So there are great things that I like about this statue and a couple that I would change So I just want to jump into that real quick there. Uh, this is actually the like, extended premium format if you want to call it that you just simply twist the lantern and that lights up i guess that was like the added feature for this one uh once again I'm very new to this so i don't understand all the differences between those um first of all the aesthetics of this is absolutely incredible so in my loves i love the metallic vibe to the suit um that's something that you don't get to see a lot in a lot of statues that are made i only have two or three where it's actually shown in a metallic format um, number two, the head sculpt on this is incredible. I love the feathered look to the hair. Um, very, very well done. If you'll actually notice behind me, the two Green Lantern paintings that are here are actually done by none other than group member himself and Rogue's Gallery favorite, Dan Dufault. I have lots of his artwork um, throughout this entire house, but those are exclusive pieces that he did for me a while back that nobody else on earth has. I'm very excited to have those hanging up here. But back to the Hal Jordan statue, as I was saying, the metallic vibe here, very, very, very nice. I love the head sculpt. Um, the arms, very, very nice. I'm not a giant fan of the white gloves in the Green Lantern, but this was done very well. Um, it's a matte white, which I very much love. It offsets against the metallic very nicely. Uh, moving down, he simply clips in through one peg in the foot into the base, which I absolutely love. It was so easy to put him in there. The center of gravity is great, so you don't have to worry about any tipping issues or anything like that that we've seen with previous statues. Um, now into the couple things that I really didn't like. Um, number one, it comes with this extremely awkward useless extra base piece effect that they call it that that clips into the back of the statue where you're never going to see it um and my problem with that is i think that would have been great to add some sort of effect to go here on top of the ring especially if he's holding the ring that means it's recently charged that's what i thought it was at first i spent a good 10 minutes trying to figure out where that actually went on the arm before i had to watch a youtube video to figure it out so it goes to show you that i am very new to this so that's one big thing that i would have loved some sort of effect on the ring um, again, the white gloves, I'm not a fan of, but this one actually turned me around because of the matte painting, so I'm actually going to scratch that off of my not like list. Uh, the only other thing I would have really knocked at this is the pose. Um, with this type of base, I would have liked to see him creating some sort of more of a construct. Um, Sideshow does have a 110 scale where he's throwing like the infamous fist, which I do have on the way, so I'm happy to see that. And then, of course, the XM one is full-blown him with Gatling guns, you name it. So very excited to see that. Um... Like I said, the, the biggest thing for me is I really just don't understand this at all, why they have this extra piece, and could have been done more with the ring. And that's the last thing I'm going to peg here, is the actual ring design itself is pretty poorly done. Um, there's no real defined detail to it. The color looks to be fading a little bit. Um, for this being a new piece, I know that that's not age wear or anything like that. So 
Uh, other than that, absolutely love this piece for being my first premiere statue. I'm absolutely going to give it a 10 out of 10 because I have nothing else to compare it to other than my 1-6 scales behind me. I uh, just want to give a big shout out to the group. I absolutely love everything that you guys do here. If you do decide you ever want to see anything I do, I actually run a pretty cool podcast uh, called Get Your Geek On where we do TV and movie reviews every week. We do celebrity interviews, cover comic cons and stuff, uh, and we do great and creative things like this for those of you that are the comic collectors there we do great stuff like this like we have people that make wooden comic books we have all kinds of great creators and stuff like that there but love to be a member of the brotherhood here hope that you guys like my review of the statues so for the hell jordan sideshow piece i give this one 10 out of 10 i'm chuck Keywatts. you guys have yourselves a great day thank you so much